athletes, I am Teacher Bo. Join me for another world of discovery and learning in the world of science. Before we proceed, let us first ask the guidance of our Creator by short prayer. Dear God, we thank you for the gift of love and life. We thank you for always providing us with what we need. Guide us as we unfold the greatness of your crafts, that we may take a pinch of understanding to your omniscient creations, that this learning will not only increase our knowledge, but will also make this world a better place for me and others. This we pray. Amen. Last lesson, we talk about energy transformations on how one energy transforms or converts into another. We tackled sound, heat, light, and electrical energy transformations, the process of their conversions, their uses, and how to generate them. For today's lesson, the objectives are as follows. Number one, identify the six types of simple machines. Number two, demonstrate the six types of simple machines and how they are being used. And number three, cite uses of simple machines in our daily lives. House rules. To have smooth sailing for today's discussion, let us revisit our friendly reminders to make the most out of our learning experience. Number one, give your full attention in the entirety of the video. Number two, jot down notes that are essential to your learning. Number three, pause and replay the part of the video you had difficulty understanding in the first time. Number four, actively participate in the discussion. Number five, do not forget to complete and submit task given after watching the video. Now, we are set to go. Together, let us answer the following puzzles by using the link provided. You may type it in your search engine's URL or click the exercise link in the description below this video. Use the link to personally engage with the app and get your score. You may also resort in answering puzzles orally alongside this video. You have 20 seconds to answer each item. Good job, kids, in answering our exercises. Please look at these pictures again. These pictures have something to do with our lesson. The hammer is an example of lever. Lever is a simple machine. Screw is a simple machine. Flagpole have pulley on their tip. Pulley is a simple machine. Ax 
bikes have wedge in its blade. Wedge is a simple machine. The bicycle's crank or sprocket is an example of simple machine. Even the slide, which is an inclined plane, is a simple machine. Therefore, what is a simple machine? When we say machine, we don't mean only this, or this, or these things. Yes, they are machine. But did you know a machine can be as tiny as this one as well? For the entirety of the lesson, these are the three words which will always be heard. Fulcrum, load, and effort. Let us define these three. Fulcrum. Fulcrum is the fixed part or pivot point in a moving body. Load. Load refers to weight or the object needs to be moved. Effort. Effort is the force exerted to move an object. In the movie Three Eves, Rancho, played by Amir Khan, defined a machine. Rancho's definition is simple, yet encapsulating. Any tool that makes our work easier with the application of minimal effort is a machine. There are three types of machine, simple, compound, and complex. We will focus on simple machines which surround us. There are six simple machines, namely inclined plane, wedge, screw, lever, pulley, and wheel and axle. Let us first describe each and every one. Inclined plane, flat surface that is higher on one end. You can use this machine to move an object to a lower or higher place. Ramps are a good example of inclined plane. Wedge An inclined plane whose end is sharp or two inclined planes with their lower ends meeting at one point. Used to push two objects away from each other. It has a sharp edge that can split things apart. Axes, knives, and nails are examples of wedge. Screw an inclined plane wrapped around a shaft and used to hold things together using circular motion to raise or lower things. This spiral reach wrapped around the cylindrical body is called thread. Clamps, screws, drill bits, and the Archimedes screws are examples of this. Lever A board or bar that rests on a turning point. It moves around the point to increase or decrease an effort. It is composed of fulcrum, which is its turning point, effort, which is where the force is exerted, and load or the counterweight, which when placed differently result in three types of lever. The first class lever, second class lever, and third class lever. First class lever has fulcrum as its center. The load and the effort sits on both opposite sides. Examples of these are pliers, scissors, and trowel. Second class lever has load in its center. It moves the load at an angle. We have wheelbarrow, paper cutter, and nutcracker as examples. And the third class lever has efforts its center. Often, this lever is used to lift objects. For the third class lever, we have tong, forcep, and broom as examples. Pulley, made up of a wheel and rope. The rope fits on the groove of the wheel. A groove is a cylindrical tube where the rope moves and locked in place by two larger discs at both ends. Usually, pulleys are used to carry objects from one point to another. There are three kinds of pulleys, the fixed, movable, and compound. Fixed pulley has an angle fixed, which serves as its fulcrum, where its name is derived. The amount of effort should always be greater or lesser 
than its load. Examples of these are those used on construction sites, raising and lowering objects. Flagpoles and clothesline are ex specific examples. Movable pulleys has their fulcrum moves along the rope or wire with the load. This increases the magnitude of the force but decreases its distance. Zip lines, weighing machines, and elevator cables are examples of such. Compound pulley is a combination of two or more fixed and movable pulleys. Its fixed pulley changes the direction of the force, while the movable lessens the effort needed. Compound pulleys are used in ships and billboards. Wheel and axle. An axle is a rod that goes through the wheel. This lets the wheel turn. It is easier to move things from place to place using the wheel and axle. Steering wheels, doorknobs, and bicycle wheels are example of wheel and axle. Generalization To conclude the lesson, here are some pointers. There are six types of simple machines, namely incline plane, screw, lever, wedge, wheel and axle, and pulley. An inclined plane has flat surface that is higher on one end. Screw and wedge have inclined plane with them. Screw has an inclined plane twisted around its rod. Wedge outline is similar with the inclined plane and when two inclined planes meet, a wedge is formed. Lever have three classes, depending which is found on the center. Fulcrum, load, or effort. First class lever center is fulcrum. Load for the second class lever and effort for the third class lever. As the number of pulleys increase, the number of effort is decreased. Simple machines, when combined, form compound or complex machines. Valuing here are examples of simple machines in our daily lives. We are surrounded by simple machines everywhere. They make our work easier, faster, and better. Use appropriate simple machines for each task to ensure safety and lengthen the span of your tool's use. Application Here are some examples of simple machines we use in our daily lives. Identify each as incline plane, screw, wedge, lever, with an axle, and pulley. Try to answer before the bomb explodes and reveals the correct answer. Are you ready? Here we go! Good job, kids, in answering our exercises. 
Evaluation For our graded activity, complete the chart below. You may take a picture of the chart or pause this video. Please submit your work in our Google Classroom or you can click the redirection link below entitled Evaluation. Assignment For our assignment, you may choose from any of the following options. Option 1. Draw one example of simple machines per type in an A4. You may color your work. Option number 2. Create a poem about simple machines. Write your poem in your summative notebook. Option number 3. Create a one-minute vlog about simple machines and their uses. Please read the rubrics in our Google Classroom regarding the output. For those who chose options 1 and 2, please submit your output on Monday. For option 3, completers, send your video in our Google Classroom. We have reached the end of our lesson. Next week, we will talk about Thank you for joining me in today's video. Again, I am Teacher Bong, wishing you a great day ahead. Goodbye!